hello guys you're welcome back to our youtube channel this particular video we are going to be bringing you the uh, practical solution to the 2023 wayek physics practical examination for mechanics and this particular experiment we are provided with a meter row this is a one meter row this is a knife edge this is a hundred gram mass that is recorded or labeled p and this is a 20 gram mass that is labeled Q. And these are other sets of masses. The 40, we can make up 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80 from this set of masses. So the procedure is what you are looking at now on the screen. First of all, we are asked to find the center of gravity of this particular meter rule after we must have balanced it on the knife edge. So I am going to balance this. Uh, meter rule on the knife edge and deduce its center of gravity so here is the meter rule balanced horizontally as you can see here so let us check what the point is here we can see that the balance point is exactly at 50.5 so here is the center of gravity of this my meter rule as you're seeing after it has balanced horizontally now that we have achieved this we are asked to hang the 100 gram mass, which is labeled P, at a point 15 cm from the balance point to my left. And then the, the mass labeled Q, which is the 20 gram mass, at a point 10 cm from the balance point to my right. And then I would use a 40 gram mass to balance the system or to keep the system in equilibrium and then we'll find the distance of the new mass m which is a 40 gram mass from the center of gravity so let me hang in these masses at the designated positions and then we'll find the new balance or we'll find the the distance at which the 40 gram mass will be hung to produce equilibrium all right here is the first setup here now recall that we had already gotten our center of gravity to be at 50.5 mark so here to confirm that our 50.5 mark is still intact because according to the instruction the center of gravity is meant to, is meant to remain the same throughout the experiment now the 100 gram mass which is labeled p was actually instructed to be hung at a point that is 15 cm from the center of gravity and if you point that, that will give you 35.5, which is from my own point or center of gravity. If you check, you can see the point where it is hung is at point 35.5. The tip actually on top is just to solidify, to ensure that it doesn't slid away from that particular position during the course of the experiment to ensure accurate result. And then the mass labeled um, Q, which is the 20 gram mass, was actually instructed to be hung at a point which is 10 cm from the center of gravity to my right and so if you check from this 50.5 it means that the point will be at the 60.5 mark so now that we have gotten our fixed positions for the two unknown masses now we are instructed to use a 40 gram mass to balance the system and make it to be in equilibrium so here is a 40 gram mass hung from the other end in order to make the system balance you can see that the system is in equilibrium horizontally balanced now the instruction would be that we should measure the distance of this balance the, uh, the distance from this new mass to the balance point now if you notice that we have already mentioned that our center of gravity is at 50.5 whereas the balance point here as you can see is at 82.9 so here is 82.9 so we are going to find the distance between the center of gravity to this 82.9 and then we'll record it as y for 40 grams once we do that we'll now proceed to add another 10 grams for 50 and then get the same y and then do the same for 60 70 and 80 we'll tabulate our original and plot the graph and then we'll proceed with the experiment so let me record this and then we'll pro proceed with 50 gram 
So proceeding with the 50 gram mass, here is, is, here is a total of the 20 gram hang, hanger, 20, 20 gram mass and then a 10 gram mass, making it a total of 50 grams hung on the meter row. You can see here that the meter row is horizontally ba balanced and is in equilibrium. So we are also going to measure the distance from here to the balance point, ensure that the balance point is also fixed all through the experiment. So we have here avoiding parallax errors. So here is what we have. The balance point is still at the 50.5 point and then at this point we have 76.6 which is the new distance for the mass m so by the time we find the difference we can record it as y for 50 gram and then we also proceed for 60. okay proceeding further here is a 20 gram hanger and 20 20 grams making it a total of 60 gram mass hung on the meter room now you can see that the system is pretty much in equilibrium as you see here so we are going to confirm our points see that our center of gravity is still remaining the same and then this point here is at the 70 72.2 mark as you can see 72.2 we'll find the difference from this point and we'll record it for the y under 60 gram and then we'll proceed to 70. So proceeding further, this is a 20 gram hanger as you've known, 20, 20 and then a 10, making it a total of 70 gram mass hung already. And then the system is also in equilibrium as you are seeing it here. So we are going to confirm our points. The center of gravity is still the same at 50.5. Then these ones are taped, so you don't expect them to move away from the position where they are being hung. But the point for the mass is at 69.2, as you're seeing here. So this is 69.2. And then we're going to find the difference from here and record it for Y under 70. And then we still have 80 remaining. So finally, we have the 20 gram hanger 20, 20, 20, making it a total of 80 gram mass hung here and then you can see from here that the system is also in equilibrium so our center of gravity has always been at this point 50.5 as you can see here then once we have confirmed that then we, these ones are fixed these ones are fixed so the new balance point here is at 66.8 66.9 rather 66.8 rather 66.8678 and then we're going to find the difference and then record it as y for 80 grams so this is the last reading i'm going to quickly tabulate this the table for this reading and then explain what the graph looks like and of course deduce the slope and then state the precautions that we took to obtain accurate results and then that will be all stay tuned okay guys so this is what um the table of the experiment looks like so our table of results as compiled here is represented uh, below mass in grams recorded as 40 50 60 70 and 80 remember there are no it's not ex you're not expected to use whole numbers because you're meant to record the readings based on the reading accuracy of the instruments so we have here the inverse of mass which is the also measured in inverse of gram and then the distance that we measured recorded as y in cm as you can see there recorded in two decimal places now on top of the table on top of the table there you can see the center of gravity recorded as 50.50 as we were able to measure during the experiment in centimeters all right so with this table now we're asked to plot a graph of m inverse against y m inverse against y m inverse is the ordinate y y is the abscissa so here is the representation of the graph so you can see that it's a straight line graph that is expected to pass through the origin and this is what you have here and then um, with this graph you can see
that it is a positive graph and then we're asked to find the slope or deduce the slope the slope is simply the change in the uh, vertical axis uh, the ratio of the change to the vertical axis and to the horizontal axis by the time we computed that we got 0 0.000784 gram per cm all right and then uh, with this loop, when I ask to determine the value of MP, given that the equation 15 MP is equal to the inverse of the slope plus 200, at this point, all we need to do is just to substitute the value of our slope and then compute for MP. And that was what we did here by substituting. Remember that in this equation, slope is inverse. So you have to find the inverse of your slope, which is going to give you for mine a thousand two hundred and seventy five point five and then add it to two hundred and then make MP subject formula that would give you ninety eight point four gram that aside they are also they also say we should find from the graph the mass M that will produce a balanced distance Y which is equal to twenty seven point five CM of course the, from the graph is is pretty much straightforward for you to trace from the distance Y which is twenty seven point five CM and find the equivalent on the M inverse axis. And when we traced that, we got 0 0.0212 gram per gram. However, because we are looking for mass, we're not looking for the inverse of mass, so we'll also find the inverse of our answer, and that would give us 47.17 gram for this particular experiment. Now, aside this, there are some precautions, basic precautions you must have to take to, ex to excel and obtain accurate results in this particular experiment. One, which is chiefest amongst all, is that you must avoid parallax error in reading the meter room. Of course, if the environment where this experiment is conducted is windy, then it means that you will struggle to get adequate results. So you must avoid drought during this particular uh, experiment. Right, so there are actually so many other uh, precautions that you can take to achieve accurate results, but this is the basic ones that you would ex you are expected to actually state. Then the question was that you should state two conditions necessary for your body to be in equilibrium. Of course, this has so much been talked about in our YouTube channel. One of them is that the algebraic sum of all the forces must be zero. That is to say. That the, up, the force is acting in one direction, the clockwise direction must be balanced or counterbalance the force is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. And then the sum of the moments due to all forces about any point must also be zero. So both the forces and the moments, the algebraic sum must give you zero. So these are basic conditions necessary for a body to be in equilibrium and then a calculation question just straightforward there state two uh, about two forces four newton and three newton act at right angles to each other you are state expected to calculate the equilibrium of the the system of forces so in this case you are meant to find the resultant force remember that the resultant force is equal and opposite to the equilibrium force i believe that the use of the word equilibrium here may may confuse some people but don't be confused because resultant force is equal and opposite to the equilibrium force so by the time we use pythagoras theorem to find the resultant force then we'll get the resultant to be five newton and then um Normally, you were expected to find the direction. So, using tan theta, finding the direction, then we'll get the direction to be 53.12 degrees. So, this is the question that came out for WIAC 2023 in physics for the mechanics examination. And this is the correct and straightforward answers. So, you can use this to, the, to confirm whether you are actually correct and in line in order to heighten your expectation. Wish you all the best. The other questions also will follow shortly. So just click the subscription button. Please do well to like and share the videos if they impress you. Thank you and God bless you.